Hey everyone, so as promised I'm doing the second part of my charity shop DVD haul. These are from the same PDSA store and again they were 50 pence each or 6 for £2. So of course I picked up 6. So in no order, we first of all have one that's actually still in its packaging. This is 500 Days of Summer. Don't really know what it's about but it looks like a kind of film that I could relax to. One of those films that I'm going to put on when I'm not really in the mood to pay attention to anything too dark. Ben Affleck in Jersey Girl. Um, again, Jason Biggs is in this as well, which I think is probably the main reason why I decided to get it. A lot of people have said they like this, and a lot of people have recommended it to me over the years. So I think it's about time that I saw that. Perfect opportunity. Tom Hanks, The Burbs, Uncut. This is another one where a lot of people have praised it to the hilt, and I kind of think, all right, let's see what it's all about. And I'll be honest, just looking at the cover, judging the DVD by the cover, it looks like something I'm going to enjoy. It looks a bit weird. Then we have another one of our classic trilogies. We have Fred Astaire in second chorus. Uh, Lena Horne in the Duke of... Duke... Is that Duke Has Tops? Duke Is Tops? I actually cannot read that script. Never mind. Uh, and then we have Andrew's Sister's Private Buckaroo which all look I think it depends on what mood I'm in we'll see what they're like but I think three for whatever price that would have equated to on its own is pretty good going ah okay this one I was so excited to see we have two films here we have The Legend of Sleepy Hollow not Tim Burton's and The Prince and the Pauper I love the story of The Prince and the Pauper I had a, a Disney Grolier Mickey Mouse tale of the Prince and the Pauper as a child and I loved it so I'm really fond of that story but I've been wanting to see that children's version of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow I think I just want to compare how this kid friendly one does it compared to Tim Burton's which is not child friendly so I'm very keen to see that and lastly we have The Machinist which I don't know what it's about but we have a game of Hangman on the front and anything that kind of plays with the mind and plays games with you in, in conception is just something that I'm going to be interested in and it says on the front Fight Club meets Memento and I adore Fight Club even though we shouldn't talk about it <sighs> yes more DVDs uh, people ask me what I do with them by the way I do not keep my DVDs I mean I've got a, I do keep some I keep the ones that are that mean the most to me but like all of these random ones that I buy for coppers essentially I don't keep I don't have this massive shelf somewhere with all of these hundreds of DVDs on I give them to friends or charity shop or things like that I pass the films on to other people so other people can enjoy them better than them just sitting in a cupboard doing nothing because I rarely watch a film twice but if you have any suggestions for films that I should check out DVDs I should look out for let me know as always and I'll speak to you all in my next video bye